out here. So anyway, um, may or may not have seen the um, old version of the uh, retro digital panel I started actually building, and um, <laughs> I decided even before it's completed that I'd like to redesign and um, take a new approach. Um, so I'm um, going to continue using the same lead mounts that we had before on the switches. So those will be migrated over. But as you see, there's no connections made yet. So not really that much work lost. Um, ah, the reason I thought I was thinking about redesigning it already, even before I built the, or the original one, is that um, I'd like to actually simplify it. And, um, the first simplification will be that we'd get rid of these displays. Um, because I'd like to move to a more modular strategy, so um, if I'm going to have a display unit, then it should be a separate module, separate from the actual panel. So the panel will be simplified to be a panel only. And then I'd um, like to have a concept where I get rid of doing all this wiring. Because basically I had, had an idea that there would be a circuit board and then there would be lots of wiring that would connect things together. And I don't think that that's... Uh, <laughs> ah, after a while of thinking a lot, then I decided that that uh, it won't be so cool. And then I'd like to improve the clarity of how to use it. So, as you see, there's no there's no markings. Can't really see what spot. So I'd like to improve that. And then I'd like to have sort of like um, separate the functionality, different distinct functions on the on the board and um, also like to have a little bit better connectivity so that you could actually bring the signals in and then get them out again and then also the latch control interface should be so that I can bring the signals in, latch them and then the latch signal will end up in the output so anyway I thought I'd just um, have a look at the um, and design of the um, new panel as a first step. So anyway, here's the um, new corner design for the um, panel. And what I did now is to make it more clear to use is that I um, added an address and data section. So on the, on the top you have a, uh, a address bus and um, that's a uh, tri-state so it's one floating or zero, and then it has a, um, a uh, lead that shows the status of, the, of this particular address line. And then it has for data, it has the same concept where it has a status lead, and then um, a th three position switch where you can actually have one zero or floating. And then I added a generic um, section called control, so there you have um, LEDs and switches uh, so, uh, yeah, dedicated for control, so this is also um, um, tri-state. And then you have um, something called status, and that's um, to actually drive a um, signals that are going to just be one or zero, so there's no status like required because you, know, you, you set it from, it's an output signal from here, so you set it to a specific state. So I think this is this is much clearer than um, what the original concept that I had was. So uh, here's some um, the mechanical design so to get rid of the wiring concept. So um, at the top level you have um, the switches and the LEDs and and then on you have a bottom circuit board and um, basically the switches and LEDs connect directly to the bottom board and then on the bottom board you also have the um, all the appropriate connectors and control logic well anyway here's the basic board in KiCad so um, the base board so you have the switches uh, and then you have the LEDs coming and connecting down into the board 
and then you have the latches so these circuits and then you have the connectors um, as the power and then you have um, input and output and then down here you also have the possibility to um, uh, either manually control the latch state or you could actually connect this to a control circuitry so you could actually be latching based on a clock signal or with an external source so it's a little bit more flexible than the original design was Oh, just a brief overview of the um, circuit design, so it's actually, uh, yeah, I, I think it's a more neater design now. So you have the switches, and then you have the incoming signal, and then you have the outgoing signal, and then you have the latches in the middle, and then you have the status LEDs. And then here you have the state control switches, and then um, here you have the um, latch control separately. So you know, I feel more comfortable with this this approach than the original concept. So I think this is the one I'm going to try and put into manufacturing. Of course, it's a bit more expensive now that they have um, you know, two circuit boards and they're a bit large. So if you'd like to see this come to fruition a bit faster, then hey, <laughs> you can buy me a cup of coffee or buy some merch. That'll help the project on because now now it's a bit stuck due to um, cash flow issues. So. But anyway, I just thought I'd show this because I, I actually gave up on the um, older older design, and I think this this uh, this is a much more sane approach. So anyway, keep on following the channel, and, and um, hopefully see some progress on this and on other items, and um, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Up, don't go yet. I've made two big mistakes in this design. And I'd like you to comment in the comments field if you actually can at least spot one. I'll leave that for you to think about. <laughs>